Hi, and welcome back. My name is Alna from TwinsMommy.com, and for today, I'm going to share with you how to get 4,000 watch hours on YouTube, right? This is my YouTube monetization journey. Now, over on Twins Mommy, I posted my 2024 blogging goals, and one of the goals that I wanted was to focus on monetizing my YouTube channel, all right? So before the holidays, the YouTube channel was on my back burner, right? But now that it's the new year, I want to really focus on it. And I've been pumping out more videos right now. When I saw what little effort that I had right here back in December, I posted two shorts in a video and my views were growing. That gave me the motivation to keep on going and to get the realization that I can grow to 4,000 watch hours a lot sooner than I suspected. I want to share with you my plan on how to get the 4,000 watch hours on YouTube so it can help you if you're struggling, if you're new to YouTube. I already have the 1,000 subscribers, so that's out of the way. If you want some help on how to get your first 1,000 subscribers, let me know and I can create a video for you on this channel. Let's go to my views and see how I'm doing. So this is the past 90 days. As you can see in October, I didn't post much. I didn't post anything in November. I posted once in December and it wasn't until the new year, like I said, that I started posting more consistently. And my latest video is getting a lot of views and it's getting a boost in the YouTube search engines. So I'm really fortunate and happy about that. As you can see, everything in the last 90 days seems to be less than normal, which I'm, that's fine. If we look at the last 28 days, then I have about a thousand more views than normal. I have about 120 more hours of watch time more than normal and about the same of subscribers, which I'm happy with overall. I am growing my channel steadily by posting more frequently. And so I'm happy that since the end of December that I have been posting more consistently. Now there was a blip here that I did not post anything only because I was in Toronto. I did have some surgery actually, so I couldn't really be at home to post and I didn't have enough time to backlog my videos and and schedule some recording time during the family holiday time it was just way too busy for me. So that's why there was a little bit of a gap here. But then I tried to be more consistent here. My goal for posting is either every two days or every three days. Now I'm realizing that every two days comes fast. And before I know it, three days have passed. And I'm like, oh, I got to get that video going. So I really want to post every other day, but I'm also doing this on my other channel too. So I'm posting every other day there. I'm posting every other here. So it's turning out to be every three days that I'm posting, but my goal is to try to post every two days just so that I can get more views and then I can become monetized faster. Let's look at the content that I've been publishing recently. So we'll go to January here. I have a video about making money. So your first $2,000 in one month. We can look at the analytics here. Not bad. It's steadily growing, nothing too crazy, so that's fine. And then I did blog niches, those are always popular. There might be a tick here of uh, views, so we'll keep an eye out on that if there's gonna be a little bit of an uptick here. So there's a little bit more views than normal, so this could account for that. Then I posted a video about how much my blog made, and those are popular videos on YouTube, uh, as blog posts, over on social media. So we can see how this is going. And so you can see there was lots of little bumps, a bump here, another bump here, another bump here. So it is getting more views than normal. My reach to lots of little bumps here, bump, bump, bump. So it is getting the attention of people. So I'm happy about that. I did change my thumbnail a couple of times. So we'll see if that's going to help. My click through rate for this one is only 4.1%. So I might have to still play around with it. Maybe I should put some money in this in my thumbnail, maybe some pictures of money that might help actually. I did post a blogging q and I was planning on doing this for a while. So I posted my questions for my, my audience and my subscribers last month, got the questions. And so it was a long video, almost an hour. So I expected the view time and duration and the engagement not to be so high, but there is a little bit of increased watch time. So that's great. That's gonna attribute to my overall watch time. Then I posted my niche December, 2023 income report. These typically do well. We'll see this one so far hasn't done 
enormously great. So we'll see. Maybe I have to, again, change the keywords in the title, change the thumbnail a little bit. Let's see. And we'll go from there. And then my most recent one seems to be taking off like gangbusters right now. So I'm really happy about that. I did focus on a keyword. I do have money in the thumbnail. So those are all maybe ways to get more click throughs, lots of bumps here. So it's just climbing, climbing up a higher click through rate here. So I'm really happy about this video in particular. So let's go to what I'm earning right now. Let's see where I'm at. So right now, if I go to my watch hours, I'm at 2,794 public watch hours. So I'm very close to the 4,000 watch hours. I need about 1,206 hours to complete the 4,000 watch hours. So I'm really happy about that and fortunate that I am almost there to have this channel monetized. So what are some things that I'm doing at the moment to help me get those watch hours to get to 4,000 watch hours? The biggest thing is finding those terms, those keywords, those ideas that are popular on YouTube and creating those types of videos. Now, naturally people love when love learning about money, what other people are doing to make money. All of those are very popular. So I am creating a little bit more content about that around that topic in this January, February term. But I also want to create more Pinterest content. So I do have this Pinterest AI pin one. I do have niches that are Pinterest focused and a tailwind review and Pinterest here. So I am in between my videos about making money or about blogging, I am putting in the uh, Pinterest topics. So if you have a specific topic about Pinterest, post them below and I'll try and make a video about them. I'm so far, I'm not far, far removed from Pinterest, but I am knee deep in Pinterest that I don't really look at the basics of like how to, you know, set up a business account or how to do SEO or those basic things. But if you want to know those things, let me know and I can backtrack and make sure that I cover all my bases on Pinterest and Pinterest marketing. So my plan, like I said, going forward is to talk more about money potentials online and Pinterest. I do want to still focus on maybe some tech tutorials. So that's still in the works. It's not on the forefront because tech for me is not a big thing that I enjoy talking about, but I know it's helpful. So my last tech stuff was this review of Tailwind. I consider that sort of a tech thing. So I can maybe do another review or focus on a certain aspect like creating logos or creating uh, a gravatar, things like that. So that's where I'm at right now. I have 3,290 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I am trying to be more consistent. Another way that I am trying to get more watch hours is through my email list and through Instagram. So when I have time, I post a new video and my stories on Instagram and I share any new videos to my subscribers on my email list for Twins Mommy. So those are two areas that I can get more people to my videos. And then I also use Twitter. Twitter is a place where I share a lot of my videos. So here's a video right here. So I shared my video about affiliate marketing right there, my December report right here. So I shared that. So I am using Twitter since I have over 11,000 followers. If they want to learn about money things, money content, since a lot of people are freelancers who follow me, but if they want to learn about money stuff, then I'll post them here too. And that seems to get some people to my channel. So I have Twitter or X, I have Instagram and my email list. Those are the three avenues that I have to get people to my channel. And as well, whenever I talk about YouTube on Twins Mommy, I will link to my YouTube channel when I talk about it. So those are all ways to get more views to my channel. So if you have a blog, make sure to talk about YouTube and embed your YouTube videos if possible. I don't do it very often, but when I can, I will embed a video. So this blog post, no time to blog, how to blog consistently when new. 
I do have a video here. So this also increases watch time hours when people can either just watch it on my blog or just go to YouTube to watch it. So I'm trying to do a little bit more like find a YouTube video and write a blog post about it. A lot of people write a blog post and then do a YouTube video. I do that as well, but um, I do have a lot of new content on YouTube that is not on my blog. So I can do, um, it's much better for me to do that instead. So I have these avenues to help me get more watch time, but I think the biggest driver is to create videos more consistently and throughout the week. So every two days, every three days. All right, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments below the type of videos you wanna see from me, like I mentioned, and make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you ha if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this.